Doing sports in city spaces is becoming more and more popular. Um, which kinds of challenges does that pose to when planning um, the areas for, for physical activity? Well, well, first of all, you've got to find the areas in the urban spaces for physical uh, activity and sports and, and other leisure activities. Um, there's, there's often a tendency to be, uh, to be working at nice, streamlined areas in cities and uh, you have to find the spaces where it's okay to, to introduce uh, these areas for, for sports and activities and a more lively <laughs> area. Um, the challenges uh, when you found these areas are to make sure that they are accessible, they have to be close to where people live in, in the neighborhoods around town, um, they have to be open practically all hours because uh, uh, people's uh, way of, of doing sports uh, are changing. Um, people want to do it whenever, wherever. In Denmark we have this tradition, this old tradition for doing club sports and, and that's changing. Uh, we're doing our sports uh, alone or, or without these uh, very formal uh, organizations that, that club sort of gives to you. Uh, you have to be there and there at a such hour. Um, we, we don't do that that much anymore. We want to do sports where, where we Whenever, wherever, basically, and, and these uh, urban places for, for physical activity and sports can, can give that to you. You can just join in and, and do your sports morning or midday or, or at evening or even at night if you want to. And that's that's very important if you want to, to create this uh, or facilitate this this uh, possibility of, of physical activity and sports in, in urban places. And what is being done in Copenhagen to meet these challenges? Um, the foundation for the Danish Foundation for, for Culture and Sports Facilities uh, are working a lot on this, uh, along with the City Council in, in Copenhagen, and, and pulling on uh, experiences from all over the country. Um, we, in a smaller scale, we've uh, introduced uh, small ballparks for football and, and basketball um, and other ball games. Um, we introduced uh, ice skating rinks, uh, outdoor ice skating rinks, uh, which became very popular some years ago uh, and still are. Um, we're looking very much into this whole problem with finding spaces. Um, we're looking very much into the harbour, uh, the actual water in the harbour. We've uh, introduced the outdoor uh, harbour bath some years ago, which is also very popular. And we're working on creating facilities that can actually float on water um, to, to sort of uh, <laughs> solve this problem with there not being place for, for physical activity. And what problems remain? Um unsolved with regards to promoting physical activity? Well, Copenhagen is, is growing all the time. Um, new, uh, new city areas are being developed. Uh, and it's very important to, to make sure that the people who decide what's, what's going to go on in these areas, that they, are, they, that they know that the, these urban spaces for physical activity, for, for leisure activities and sports are important. Um, they create the atmosphere that, that people want now in, in a city. We want to be out outdoors in the city, we want to live our lives out in the city. Um, and, and that's very important for people to remember when they plan cities. Uh, and Copenhagen is doing this very well, I think.